Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. If we talk about the fine tuning, so we just mentioned that the a, a, a very simple definition of the fine tuning is that transforming a general purpose based model into a specialized model. So what is the use? Uh, what is this? What's it mean? So it means is that we have like model like GPT-3, Google Palm, Llama. So if you see these things, they are very general purpose models and they are not only for a specific thing, they are for the general purpose. But you want to use your, you want to use the Llama model, Palm model, Falcon model for your business activity. So there is a one case that you can maybe you can implement the rag for these things. You can implement you can along with the prompt, you can pass the contact. This is the one solution. But if this solution is not sufficient, maybe there is a scenario where your rag technique is also not sufficient, then how you will perform a QA system, how you build a QA system. In that part, you have to use the fine tuning of a general purpose model so that it works well for a particular use case. As I mentioned that, just imagine that you have the Google Palm or the Llama model which you want to train for, you, uh, you have a, this Llama model which is a general purpose LLM and you want to convert it into a QA system, a QA model for your company, uh, for your company QA. One of the participants mentioned that like you company is using some kind of a internal uh, chat board and uh, definitely this chat board is behind the scene is using a general purpose LAM Falcon or the Palm. But now, data scientist team convert this this big model for a specialized QA system, and this activity we call as a fine tuning. The example is that, like uh, Mr. Uh, the model that he is talking about, this is only for the topic modeling, text generations, and uh, but. Like he want to use this model for the text to SQL generation. So definitely for these things, you have to write a very complex prompt. But the problem is sometimes prompt engineering technique is is not also sufficient. I think I can remember that uh, in the prompt engineering classes, somebody asked a question that what is the difference between fine tuning and the prompt uh, prompt techniques and when to use which one so I, I i know that like i i can remember my answer that i told them like uh, we will discuss in the fine tuning so now the thing is that uh, question is that when to use the prompt engineering so you have seen that in the prompt engineering we can modify the prompt we can try our best to give the context we will try the things to give the uh, give the proper instructions, but the problem is that the model that we are using it is not dedicatedly trained on this kind of way scenarios. Like for example, text to SQL. If you use the GPT three for the text to SQL for the basic SQLs, it will work properly. If you if you just write a, if you give a prompt where like you are fetching the data from a table, it is a very simple select statement. Or if you are implementing a just join on the two table, it is also work. But just imagine that, just imagine that, you know that the SQL query is not only limited to the, it is not only limited to the uh, uh, a, a single statement or, or the a, a single join 
it is more complex we may use nested queries we may use multiple joins together and create a very complex query the problem is that this scenario is is very very difficult to write because we have to pass a lot of instructions why because my model is a very general purpose model it is very similar to the things like for example now if i ask you if i if i tell you that hey what is generative ai probably by giving the one or two line definition you will be able to get it yes what is the generative ai because you guys already uh, have this particular knowledge and also you have the data science background so so you can easily understand the term generative ai you can easily understand the term prompt you can easily understand the term training learning so you can all easily understand the things because you have a specific domain knowledge just just imagine that just imagine that we are explaining the same thing to a person who don't have a, this kind of a knowledge like who has the a, a, a normal basic knowledge of the ai like for example a software developer so if if i i if if a software developer join uh, this session so definitely it will not be able to understand the things properly because he has the normal knowledge but not a specific field knowledge especially to the generative ai so this is where this is the same case of the of the our llm models because they are trained only not only a specific task but all the generalized task so then the thing is the next thing is so if they are not generalized on a special task so should we create our own llm models now this is the question that should we create the llm model for our activity so for these things i will just give you a small a small uh, knowledge that uh, building a llm is not a easy task you also aware this things you are already aware that but if i just show you these things if i compare the parameter if you see these things these are the number of parameters in billions first of all till now till now whatever the model that you built on your your machine using the gpu or gpu in the 100000 category like 1 lakh 10 lakh 20 lakh maximum and still like you can remember that if you have worked on a deep learning model it was taking 5 to 6 hours it was taking 5 to 6 hour to build your model now if we talk about a very simple model which was from the bert albert base albert large they have 18 million parameters if you want to build this kind of a model on your tpu it will take the days to complete it then we slowly slowly saw the many models under the bert category and maybe very famous model which i also use is the robert base which contain the 125 million parameters definitely this is very means like 1000 times complex or thousand times large as compared to the your your model which you dedicately uh, develop for a client thousand times difficult then we saw the bert large xl net large robert large so till now if you see these things we have although very complex but not that much thing then suddenly we saw the gpt and in this gpt if you see the if you see the if you see the change from robert large to the gpt2 it is five times okay then from the gpt2 we saw the t5 which is the, from the google side we it, it is the 10 times although it is very very large but again it is 10 times of that large and then we saw the turing nlg which is having the 17000 million parameter 
and then we saw the chat GPT, which Intel uses the, use the GPT family, and that contain the one lakh seventy five thousand or one seventy five thousands million parameters. So now you can imagine that how such this complex model is. So definitely, definitely building a dedicated LLM model is not possible for us on our any machine because it doesn't need the machine. It needs the cluster of the machine as one of the participants has also mentioned that to even for the inference purpose also we need the GPU. If I talk about uh, like uh, a basic LLM is also need the GPU for the inference otherwise it will take very long time it will take very time high time to give the inference also so so that's why building the LLM is building the LLM a dedicated LLM is not possible so when a building a, scratch, a LLM from the scratch is not possible the next question comes that how we can use a general purpose model for our use case and this is where fine tuning came in the picture so what we are doing in the fine tuning is in the fine tuning as i mentioned that we are transforming the model for our special use case thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.